Disney presents From Frontierland Sorrow Old Acquaintance Starring Guy Williams Guest star Ricardo Montalban Zorro is Diego de la Vega See for yourself I told you no tricks. But he's there. See for yourself. This program is brought to you by Canada Dry. The face is America. The taste is Canada Dry. Coast to coast, America's first family of beverages. The face is America. The taste is Canada Dry. The taste is sparkling Canada Dry ginger ale. America grows up with this fine refreshment. The flavor is dry, light, gingery bright. The taste is crisp, keen, and clean. It's the liveliest thirst quencher of them all. Renews energy practically on the spot. You'll like it. Canada Dry ginger ale comes in handy six bottle cartons and big family size bottles. It's a fine refreshment, makes a fine mixer, too. There's your reason, exclusive pinpoint carbonation, millions of tiny, livelier bubbles. The face is America. The taste is Canada Dry. Coast to coast, America's first family of beverages. Canada Dry. And now, your Disneyland host, Walt Disney. For a test of skill and a method of settling arguments, we've made a lot of progress since these were commonplace. But I'm not sure we've made too much improvement. Two men could meet and settle with each other and didn't necessarily have to bury the loser. The program you're about to see takes you back to the colorful days of Spanish California. You will again meet Zorro, the bold, dashing caballero, fighting to preserve a glorious way of life for this was the golden era of California history. Travelers could stay at the missions, located a day's ride apart. There was never any charge for board and bed, and a no vacancy sign hadn't yet been invented. Cattle were raised by the thousands for tallow and for hives, and there just weren't enough people in California to eat all of the steaks and pot roasts. They were yours for the asking, but there's always somebody who shows up and wants to spoil a good thing, as you're about to see on our program titled, Old Acquaintance. Payday! 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 What is the reason for our celebrating? Payday! What are we always eagerly awaiting? Payday! What is the day each soldier in the army is a hero? What is the day that fills our hearts with joy? Payday! Every soldier's feeling fine, cause it's payday today. We'll have pesos for the wine, cause it's payday today. Now we don't have to beg or borrow, we're sure to be broke tomorrow, but holy, it's payday today. All the senoritas sigh, cause it's payday today. And they're giving us all the eye, cause it's payday today. They will help us drown our sorrow, and forget who we are tomorrow, but holy, it's payday today. They will help us drown our sorrow and forget who we are tomorrow. But ole, it's payday today. Ole!
Gracias, señorita. Thank you, señor. Well, payday calls for a celebration, eh, Sergeant? No, it will, senor. At the moment, we are only preparing. Oh. But tonight, when our pay arrives from San Diego... <laughs> oh, your pardon, senor, but you are a stranger to Los Angeles. See. Si. Uh -huh. Well, permit me to introduce myself. I am Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia, acting commandante of the people de Los Angeles and soldier of the King of Spain. Ramon Castillo, your servant, Sergeant. Ah, Senor Castillo, uh, sit down, sit down. Uh, yes, gracias. Uh, it is my duty to ask what brings you to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. That's a long story, Sergeant, and best told over refreshments. Will you join me? Refresh? Gracias, Senor. Senorita, two, please. Well, you were saying that um, your money arrives this evening, Sergeant? See, si. six months pay for every man. Oh. <laughs> but now, senor, my question. To pay day for everyone. To pay day. <laughs> Salud. Sergeant Garcia <clears throat> informs me that um, the payroll which arrives on the 10 o'clock coach will be almost 5,000 pesos. Hey, Chihuahua. Um, are the soldiers going to ride out to meet the coach? Well, I don't know. But I think someone should, don't you? Oh, yes. It's so lonely there. Here, doesn't he? Huh? Huh? What? You understand what I'm saying. Don't, don't, don't. Where is Diego, huh? I said, where is he? One moment, senor. My servant neither hears nor speaks. Your servant? My son. Oh, then you must be Don Alejandro, Diego's father. I am. Uh, permit me, Don Alejandro. I am Ramon Castillo, an old friend of your son's from Spain. Oh, well, welcome to Los Angeles, Senor Castillo. <laughs> gracias, gracias. I'm sure Diego will be very happy to see you. Uh, I would like to see him, too. He is at the Hacienda. Oh, uh, where is that? I am ready to return home now. I will take you there if you wish. Uh, my friend and I will be very grateful. Senor, you also are most welcome. Will you follow us? Uh, our horses are over there. Five thousand pesos. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, you have a beautiful place, Don Alejandro. Beautiful. Gracias, Señor Castillo. 
Diego will be very disappointed when he learns you cannot spend at least one night here. Oh, unfortunately, we're just passing through. <laughs> si. Oh, that's too bad. Now, if you will follow me, I will show you where you can watch before supper. Gracias. is more important than the army payroll? Well, we can wait here just as easily. If we leave by uh, 9 o'clock, we'll have plenty of time to stop the coach. What is there here that is so special? Diego de la Vega. The only man who ever beat me with a sword. He was the one who took the royal competitive trophy from me and then left Spain without giving me a chance to win it back. Ramon, he beat you to win it. He could have beaten you to keep it. I have learned a few things in those days. I just want to see if he has. Look, remember there are 5,000 pesos involved. Of all the people I know, Ramon Castillo is the last man I ever wanted to see in Los Angeles. <laughs> he seemed a, a very charming man. Oh, he's charming enough. He lives by it. And as he said, you were friends. Rivals is more the word. We opposed each other on the fencing team in Spain. He knows you're an excellent swordsman. He should. I beat him for the trophy. If he should tell anyone that you can fence, the secret of Zorro is over. I'll ask him to leave immediately. Hey, one moment, Father. He is my friend. Allow me the pleasure of asking him to leave. Uh, uh, Diego. It was my mistake. Allow me to ask the other one. <laughs> Bravo. All right. <laughs> Let's see if you remember. I'm gone. <laughs> well, we're just about to ask our friends to leave. You want them to stay? Well, why? What did you hear? Perhaps it is better if you go back to Los Angeles and uh, keep your eyes open, hmm? Thank you. Let us do nothing to endanger those 5,000 pesos. I will join you at the tavern after a pleasant afternoon with my dear friend Diego. Ramon. What if he will not fight? He will. He always has. You see, I have an uncommon talent that makes men of honor want to fight. Well, just don't waste too much time playing games. Remember, there are pesos involved. Marcos, my friend, if you could relax, you would find out that there are more important things in this world than money. Of course there are. It just takes a lot of money to buy them. <laughs> I, I will leave this place before 9 o'clock. Don't worry. Go, go. Ramon. I could hardly believe my ears when my father told me. Come in, come in. Sit down, sit down. Gracias, Diego. Yes. Now, 
What is all this nonsense that you cannot stay? It's true, I am on my way to South America. Very important business. Ramon, I insist that you and your friends spend at least one night. It has already become necessary for Marcos to return to Los Angeles. Well, send for him. You and I have much to discuss. Old times, for instance? Yes. Also, what you've been doing, where you've been, all those things. Well, I, um... I've been traveling about the world. I've been uh, meeting new people, making new friends, learning new things. By the way, I don't see the uh, Royal Competitive Trophy or any of your other fencing souvenirs. Uh, Ramon. I've put all that behind me. It's all part of the past. Oh. You know something? I'm not even sure I know how to handle one of those things anymore. <laughs> uh, let's find out, shall we? Before supper. I told you, I, I can't stay for supper. Uh, we're having it early tonight. Uh, someone else will be joining us. Senorita. Beautiful. Beautiful and charming. You know, I would say that Isabel is one of the most charming women in all California. You say, um, supper will be early. Uh, she must be home by nine o'clock. I must leave before nine also. We will arrange it. Or perhaps the senorita and I can live together. Ah, uh, 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 Ramon. That's something you're going to have to arrange yourself. Oh, that I will. Uh, salute. After, after you and I Discover how much you remember about one of these. Salud. Salud. Once I stood high in the Pyrenees with a great cloud around me. I reached out and I moved it about. And I thought to myself, never again will I touch anything so delicate or so graceful. I was wrong. You should have Ramon teach you some of these phrases, Diego. And there may be a few other things I can teach you. Diego and I are going to present a little entertainment for you in the patio. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Well, there'll be plenty of time for that later. This clock has stopped. Well, how do you suppose that got in there? I wonder. There must be another clock in this house. I have to be in town by 9 o'clock. Well, it's uh, only a little after 8 by my watch. Oh, uh, may I see it? There'll be plenty of time for the fencing exhibition. I'll get the swords. Fencing? Diego, are you out of your mind? Oh, well, not yet, but I'm afraid I'm being driven there. Are they really going through with this? Uh, so it would seem. Uh, Isabella, will you give the signal to begin? No, I will have no part of this. Uh, that's the clock at the mission. At the last stroke? Agreed. Four, five, 
Raymond, Six, please, the echo doesn't do hard seven, offense. Eight. Raymond. Nine. What did you say? Ten. Ten. Ten? Oh. Forgive me, my dear. Some other time, huh? But... Oh, I'm sorry, Don Alejandro, but I was to be in town an hour ago. Ramon! Ramon! I thought you wanted to fence. I consider myself the victor by default. Well, you should consider yourself lucky that he left. Well, as a matter of fact, I do, because uh, now I can take you home alone. Mm. What is not just... I'm sure Sergeant Garcia will have the payroll safe in his office by the time Castillo gets into town. You mean the money's not going to be distributed tonight? <laughs> no, tomorrow. Uh, some regulation or other. <laughs> the money is safe. <laughs> Castillo would not dare to try to rob the quartel. Wouldn't he? Come on. Every trail he rides leads to adventure. Clint Walker as Cheyenne Bodies. Every road he travels leads to excitement. Could be an ambush. Hit it! Ah, they did Every man he meets learns quickly whether he's friend or foe. Sorry, Sheriff. You won't listen to reason. You leave me no other choice. Cheyenne using brawn and brain to survive in an untamed frontier where bullets spoke louder than the law. We've done enough talking, Bodie. We're coming in for him. Nobody's taking my prisoner. The Cheyenne Show, a full hour of spine-tingling action adventure on ABC TV. For the wine, cause it's payday today. <laughs> Lugo? Manuel? Jose? Ricardo? Two for me? The coin 
plans will present less of a problem if you place them all in this, Sergeant. Gracias, senor. Oh, no. Please, senor, it's not the payroll. We always spend it right away at the tavern, so why not wait and come back tomorrow and rob it? Sorry, senor, but there will be other paydays. Buenas noches, Sergeant. And, uh, gracias. would be a good time for you to leave Los Angeles, senor. Diego de la Vega. Oh, no, not again. Oh, Sergeant. The money. that leaves San Pedro at midnight tonight. Oh? Mm -hmm. Goes to South America. Mm, that's very interesting. Well, it's better than riding horses all the way. <laughs> why, why don't we go there now and just wait for it, eh? Oh, what's the matter? Don't you like it here? I like it fine. The girls are beautiful. What if somebody finds out that it was us at the quartel last night? <sighs> and look, when we didn't get that army payroll, we should have kept right on going. And have Diego de la Vega think that he's driven me out of Los Angeles now? It was Zorro. 
Diego de la Vega is Zorro. You don't know that. I don't know. No. Uh, no. The only man in the world who was ever able to disarm me is Diego de la Vega. And last night, Zorro did it. It's a big world, Ramon. There could be other swordsmen. All right, then answer this. In Spain, he was fencing champion at the university, and now he pretends not to know one end of the sword from another. Why, huh? Why? His mute servant, Bernardo, who could hear in Spain, is deaf in Los Angeles. Why? I don't know. Because Diego de la Vega is Zorro. There is no other explanation. All right, all right. Let's assume that you're right. We can't wait around here to prove it. It isn't worth the risk. It is to me. Well, not to me. Suppose I were to tell you that uh, by midnight tonight, I can destroy Zorro. Uh, and, and make us both rich. Would that interest you? Rich? Mm. Tell me. Ah, Senorita Linares, to your beauty and your good health. God bless you, Sergeant. Isabel? Ramon? Diego? Ah, oh, my dear Sergeant. <laughs> Senor Castillo? I thought you'd be well on your way to South America by now. Well, whatever gave you that idea? Uh, please, uh, don't sit down. Uh, Sergeant Castillo was just telling us about the two bandidos that tried to steal the payroll last night. Oh. And now, Sergeant, I realize that they hid their faces, but uh, perhaps there's some other means of identifying them. Uh, for instance, uh, were either of them uh, my height or uh, Ramon's? Well, I... Is it true that uh, Zorro was there also last night, Sergeant? See, he was. But he got away, too. I've never seen Zorro. Uh, what does he look like, Sergeant? Is he uh, my height or Diego's height? Well, I think Zorro is more... Uh... They tell me that uh, he wears a mustache, Sergeant. Now, how does his mustache compare to, let's say, uh, Diego's? Zorro does not have a mustache. Or does he? Please, senores, you are confusing me. Let us discuss one bandito at a time. No, let us not discuss banditos. It is too nice a day. Forgive us, senorita. You are forgiven, sergeant. Shall we continue our ride, Diego? Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Will I see you again, Ramon? I'm afraid that uh, Ramon has interests in South America that demand his immediate attention. Oh? Something in Los Angeles interests me more, Diego. Well, for that, Ramon, you may walk me to my horse. Oh. Adios, Diego. your horse? Yes, it is. Huh. Somehow I, um, I had a feeling it would be black. Huh? No. Huh. Sergeant Garcia, 
Ah, Senor Castillo. Much as I dislike doing this, I, uh, I feel obligated to tell you something. Tell me what? Well, it, it, it's very important. Uh, it's a secret. A secret? Huh. Diego de la Vega is Zorro. Diego de la Vega is Zorro. <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Senor Pacheco, everyone, come here. <laughs> what is it, Sergeant? Senor Castillo says... <laughs> he says... No, I'm sorry, I, I cannot. Would you mind repeating that, please? Not at all. I was just informing Sergeant Garcia that um, Don Diego de la Vega is um, Zorro. <laughs> oh, senor, you are making a big joke, no? No, 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 I'm serious. <laughs> senor, of all the men in Los Angeles, it could be Zorro. It is a hundred to one, it is not Don Diego. See, si, a thousand to one, a million to one! <laughs> Well, now, let, let's, uh, let's be reasonable, gentlemen. I accept, or I will accept, 20 to 1. Let me understand. You are willing to bet money that Don Diego is Zorro? That's right. Is he joking again, Sergeant? If he is, it is going to cost him. Senor Castillo, I will bet you all I have left of my pay. I accept. Marcos has our money. And we can let the innkeeper hold the stakes. See! Now, once more so that uh, everything is clear. Tonight, at 11 o'clock, you and your men will surround the tavern. When you're all in position, Marcos and I will pretend to rob the innkeeper. And Zorro will appear and try to stop you, and I will capture him, eh? For your trouble, you may keep the reward money. I will be satisfied with the wager money that the innkeeper has. Oh, it remains to be seen who gets that money, senor. <laughs> <laughs> so it does, Sergeant. So it does. Bueno, adios, eh? Adios. <laughs> Sergeant. All of the soldiers in the barracks have put up money because you told them Don Diego was not Zorro. You had better be right. Of course I am right. Of course I am. <laughs> uh, Don Diego, Zorro. <laughs> Here's a new album that really makes sense, especially with all that writing you have to do for school. It's called the new Smith Corona 10-day touch typing course. Golly, it's educator approved and fun to learn with. Watch. E, A, L, return carriage. Imagine e me typing I in just 10 days. And dad went for the price. Only $3.95 with any new Smith Corona portable. Oh, Smith Corona portables come in the dreamiest colors. Look for this display wherever typewriters are sold. The whole 10-day touch typing course for only $3.95 with any Smith Corona portable. Listen and learn touch typing in just 10 days. Of course, you know, more people buy Smith Corona portables than any other kind. We now pause for station identification. And now to continue, old acquaintance. Come in, what a surprise. Gracias, Don Diego. Gracias. Nice day. <laughs> Sergeant. Uh, yes, Don Diego? You seem to be uh, troubled. Oh, no, no, no trouble, Don Diego. I, I just happened to be passing by. I, 
I was out for a ride. It is such a nice day. Yes, it is. The sun is hot, though. Very. For this time of year, that is. True. Don Diego, are you Zorro? What did you ask? Are you Zorro? Sergeant, uh, that sun must be hotter than I think it is. Sit down, sit but down. Don Diego, I... I... I'll get you some chilled wine, and when you feel better, you can tell me all about it. Be a good job, eh, Sergeant? Oh, see, Don Diego. Uh, remember now, not one word to Ramon, eh? Oh, no. Good, good. I'll see you tonight, then, eh? Gracias, Don Diego. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. <laughs> you heard? Yes, and you certainly made Sergeant Garcia very happy. I wonder if your friend Ramon will be just as pleased after he has waited in vain for Zorro. <laughs> if he waits. What do you mean? Remember, he'll do his waiting in the same room with all that money. My men are all in position, Don Diego. We have the tavern completely surrounded. Ah, oh, Sergeant, what a moment this is. See, and even if Zorro escapes, I still win the bet, because you will be standing beside me for everyone to see. You know, it's a great moment for me, too. Well, I'll be able to clear my name once and for all, and uh, at the same time, fulfill a secret ambition of mine. What ambition, Don Diego? Uh, you won't laugh. Well, Sergeant, I've always wished that someday, you and I could stand shoulder to shoulder in battle. Battle, Don Diego? Well, Zorro will not give up without a fight. Oh. That is true. Oh, Sergeant, I can see it now. There he is! Where? He comes at us. We draw our swords! I'm sorry, Sergeant. I, I, I didn't have a good grip on it. We stand shoulder to shoulder. On guard, Zorro. <laughs> Just a little nick, Sergeant. Don Diego, it might be better if you were not at my side. Perhaps just a little behind? Protecting you from a surprise attack. Excellent idea, Sergeant. <laughs> I'll pay for it, Sergeant. I just need a little room, that's all. <laughs> means to him, Sergeant. I know what it will mean to me, Don Alejandro. Uh, Don Diego, would you mind putting this sword away for the moment, please? Well, all right, Sergeant. And just for the moment, though. Because you would have to lock me up to keep me away from this one. Yes, sir, Sergeant. You would have to lock me up. Don Diego, have you seen my living quarters? Uh, not lately, Sergeant. Uh, let me show them to you. <laughs> I've had one of the walls whitewashed. Oh, in that case. <laughs> after you, Sergeant. Oh, gracias, Don Diego. Oh, no, after you, Don Diego. Open the door. What does this mean? Open the door. Oh, please, allow me to explain, Don Alejandro. I understand perfectly, Sergeant. Uh, shall we take our positions? See, si. We must fight Zorro together. Bernardo. the robbery. It should be happening now. Psst! Get down! Sergeant, 
you know, it's very hard to fool Zorro. You have to make it look real. Ah, I understand. Hey, I think maybe you better tie it a little bit tighter. Ah. <laughs> I see. That's tight enough. <laughs> oh, I know. Why don't I steal a bottle of wine? Eh? Well, senor, you... Oh, no, 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 no. Just to make it look more real, eh? <laughs> <laughs> If Zaro doesn't show up soon, we're going to lose that ship. Oh, if you have to catch a ship, senores, perhaps you should leave now. You have already lost the bet. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, Don Diego is not Zorro. He is outside with Sergeant Garcia. <laughs> well, if Don Diego is outside with Sergeant Garcia, then uh, Zorro will not appear. <laughs> Very well, senor. We will wait and see. <laughs> no, we can wait. If we do, we lose the ship. It's bad enough we lost the army payroll because of that. You are the bandidos. Ooh. I did it. You did. Sergeant! Oh, get the money. See. Patience, my friend. Patience. We will send the sergeant in, and you can tell him all about it. Hey, you know, there's more money in the bed than there was in the payroll. Ah! Oh, be quiet, Marcos. I think Marcos will be quiet now. Zorro. Diego de la Vega. Look behind you. See for yourself. I told you no tricks. But he's there. See for yourself. No tricks. Go ahead, Sergeant. Open the door. Diego de la Vega is not there. He is Zorro. We win the bet. The money will do you no good in prison, Senor Castillo. Uh, no, but it will be most comforting. You can't send us to prison for taking our own money. And we've won it fair and square. Go ahead. See for yourself. <laughs> show Senor Castillo that you are not Zorro. <laughs> so 
Sergeant. Don Diego! Please? Sergeant, I may never speak to you again. I may never speak to you again. It's a trick. Sure. It's a trick! Diego de la Vega is sorrow! Answers? Take them away. Sure, you were gonna make me rich, eh? I saw it with my own eyes, do you doubt my word? Six thousand bacon right from my head! That's all you think about. What about all the money? That's all you think about. Poor losers, eh, Sergeant? The seat on Alejandro. But the important thing is, they are the losers. And I know who is the winners. Lugo's bet. Jose's bet. When it's not just Sergeant. And this Manuel. Ricardo. And me. Adventure and romance are calling you. Come to the South Pacific. Come to the islands of paradise. But beware, at any moment, paradise can become an inferno. ABC TV proudly presents James Michener's outstanding series of hour-long dramas, Adventures in Paradise, starring Gardner McKay in the rugged, virile portrayal that has made him one of television's outstanding personalities. Captain Adam Troy of the schooner Tiki, who knew the sea was like a woman. Hey, do you believe in mermaids? <laughs> Fascinating, unforgettable, dangerous. So follow him through stories of romance, mystery, and spectacular action as his white-winged schooner carries you far off the beaten track to new adventures in paradise every week on ABC TV. the great American game. In our program next week, we have some gridiron excitement in store for you. Well, it's not about the highly trained football machines of the colleges or the professional leagues, but you'll find it just as thrilling and a lot more fun. Our story is about those wonderful little players of the Pop Warner Football League. Their successes and failures, their heartbreaks and happiness. It concerns a typical American boy named Moochie who had only 10 pounds standing between him and a backfield position on the Pop Warner football squad. Mooch, will you put it down, please? You're going to make yourself sick. You can't gain 10 pounds overnight. Yes, I can, Pop. No, I won't, Mom. And here is Moochie's girlfriend, Bebe, who just knows he's the greatest All-American football player of all time. There's one. Get going. There are laughs galore with a one-time gridiron great as he demonstrates the fine art of tackling. Never mind, now watch! <laughs> Behind all the laughter and cheers of the crowd moves the dramatic story of a little guy with a heart as big as all outdoors. But why does he hate me, Bob? I never did anything to him. Well, the reason behind hate hardly ever makes sense. The important thing is what you do about it. Either you fight back or you live with it. But you never run away from it. I'd like to think you can handle the situation, son. For fun and a lot of excitement, be with us next week when Walt Disney presents Moochie of Pop Warner Football in The Pee Wees versus City Hall. They say that justice is blind. But out on the frontier, lawmen have to keep their eyes open to stop the lawless from running wild. It takes something more, too. And that's why Dan Troop and Johnny McKay stand out in ABC TV's popular series, Lawman. Put him in my custody. You know what people say if they got into more trouble now? 
Maybe I can find him a job. They can pay for the cow. You know, it could be you putting your job as deputy right on the line. Here's a pair with everything it takes. The nerve to stand off an angry mob. The strength to move fast when the time comes for the showdown. In this fast-moving show that's a standout for action entertainment. They call me the stone face, but I wasn't born that way. That badge stamped my face. I'm free, John, and you're not. I can get him, you can't. Don't miss John Russell as Dan Troop. Peter Brown as Johnny McKay in Lawman. Every week on ABC TV. Tonight's program has been brought to you by the American Broadcasting Company and its affiliated stations throughout the United States and North America. Walt Disney could bring to the screen the heartwarming true story of Greyfriars Bobby, a rugged wee tyke of a dog whose only friends were the children of the streets, who, like him, were homeless. But their remarkable adventures together wrought a heart-stealing miracle, and eventually won for Bobby the keys to a city. Share that miracle in Walt Disney's new motion picture, Greyfriars Bobby. He thrives on danger. He lives with excitement. He rides the trail to adventure. Cheyenne, starring Clint Walker, one of television's most exciting full-hour outdoor dramas. The Cheyenne Show on ABC TV.